Just in time for Christmas and the New Year, where our first official Nappy Nation t-shirt design. It's also available in ladies' tees and hoodie in a wide variety of colors that ships around the globe. Make sure you head on over to teespring.com slash nappyproud or click the link in the description below so that you do not miss out. You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. And we gon' fuck around, fuck around all night. What's good, YouTube? That one, you're back again once again. And today, people, today we're for episode number 86 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we went ahead and captured the final Tapu in the game, being Tapu Fini, giving us easily the most amount of trouble. Uh, but it was worth it because we went ahead and captured all four Tapus at this point. Uh, in today's episode, we have another Pokemon we need to obtain. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go about it, but either way, we'll see what happens. If you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, you know, can't nobody let's play a game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. Now, you got to bear with me, you guys. I just woke up a like 30 minutes ago or something but today's gonna be a super busy day so we gotta get stuff done so let's get a quick shortened team recap up first we have zion our soul Galeo, the big steel button at level 69 hold the iron in the coin because he's about his fucking money we have yolanda our queen the serena level 69 holding the miracle seed dorado our Kamo, level 68 holding the scope lens cactus jack our second child our second born our toxpex level 70 on the poison bar delilah our musdale level 70 holding the soft sand because she's got the team on her back and last and not least we have our firstborn and the king of the squad frankie our primarina holding that water room z now i don't know how long some of these post game episodes are going to be because i'll be 100 honest with you guys we don't have too many sub events left to do in the game we're actually almost to the end of this let's play either this week or next week we'll actually be done with it which is kind of wild to think about because we've been we're at 86 episodes deep and there's only a few things left for us to do uh, but uh, I, to, to that to that extent, I don't know if every single episode is going to be like a full on 30 minutes or 25 minutes or whatever. Uh, that's why we said the last episode eight was going to be the last hour of power because I just I just don't know what's going to happen. And for me as a content creator, I want to like our first like we we put so much time and effort into this let's play as it is. So to knock out these last couple of events, it didn't just to please my OCD. I'm gonna do them just per episode so if this event takes 10 minutes and that episode is going to be 10 minutes if that event takes 25 minutes then it'll take 25 minutes okay so i know some of you guys are just like fuck it just do everything all in one episode but it's i just don't want to i'd rather just have this this nice neat let's play where everything is just done just bear with me anyways shut up phone shut up god damn it see this is what happens when you got 70,000 things going on in your life at once, and you need to have notifications, but then you start fucking recording and just fucks everything up. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do today is we need to actually head up here. I think this is how you do it. So, spoiler alert, we're going to go get Cosmog, because apparently you can still access Cosmog, which would make sense because it's a Pokemon, or an Ultra Beast, whatever you want to consider it, and it needs to be registered in the Pokedex. So how do you go about doing that? And I want you to know, I tried to record this episode like two or three times because I just couldn't, like, I tried to figure it out on my own and it just wasn't working. It just wasn't fucking working. So I had to go and uh, look at a couple different videos and put together, piece together, piece by piece, and hopefully I didn't spoil too much for myself. But uh, step one, I think you need either your Sogaleo or your Lunala in your party. Then you need to run up here to the Altar of the Sun. And I, 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 I see this is the confusing part because I, I, I went and a lot of people are probably thinking you need to watch a couple different videos for this. Ah, oh, there's a crack. Oh, Giratina's ass crack is chilling right here. You're probably sitting there thinking, oh, you need to watch a couple videos for this. It's simple as shit. No, it's the explanation I didn't understand. So like I went to someone else's video and I'm like, uh, all right, let's try this. And they didn't make sense either. So I don't know. I think what you have to do is... It has to be... I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. We're just gonna click on it and see what happens. There's a strange distortion in the air, but you don't seem to be able to traverse it now. Okay, that makes sense. So, 
I think it has to be nighttime. If you're playing Pokemon Sun, it has to be nighttime for you to access the other dimension. And if you're playing Pokemon Moon, it has to be daytime. So it's kind of like the exact opposite of your games. So Pokemon Sun is obviously all about during the day. Pokemon Moon is obviously all about during the night. But in order to get Cosmoc and do this, you have to do the exact opposite. So it's like some 5th gen black and white. Zekrom's on the cover of white. Restaurants on the cover of black kind of thing. So I'm going to change my 3DS time so that we can make it nighttime. If you guys don't know how to do that, it's just in your system settings. So I will be RB. Okay, so we have changed our system time. And I still have a feeling this might not work. Beyond the distortion, you can see what looks like another world. Will you go there? Okay, never mind. I was going to be so fucking terrified for half a second that you needed both Solgaleo and Lunala. But, update! You don't need both Sogale and Lunala, which is fucking great. So, in your game, if it's Pokemon Sun, you need to visit the crack at night with your Solgaleo in your party. If it's Pokemon Moon, you need to visit the crack during the day with your Lunala in your party. Let's fucking go. Hot damn. We just travel into weird cracks in the fucking sky. We're fucking time travelers, time hoppers, dimension hoppers, reality distorters, whatever it's called. And look at that. Oh, we're at the altar of the moon. Oh, shit, my boy. So we visited a... So we went through an ultra wormhole. And we're visiting a different dimension or a different version of the world. And I think the idea is that they're letting you visit, like, the exact same world, but in, like, the opposite copy. So then what you need to do is slip and slide... To, I believe now it will be the Lake of the Sun. So I think that what I'm experiencing right now is how it is in Pokemon Moon. So I think it's, for, it's the Altar of the Sun for me because it's Pokemon Sun and Lake of the Moon because it's Pokemon Sun. But in Pokemon Moon, I think it's the Altar of the Sun and Lake of the Moon. Yeah, because I know that this wasn't uh, Lake of the... This was Lake of the, the Moon before. So I wonder if there's anything different in this version of the world. I wonder. I kind of want to like just go around the region and explore. And see if there's anything different. But at the same time, I'm going to slip and slide my happy ass up here. Because I don't know. Do we have to go back through that ultra wormhole? Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know why, but this place is just so fucking... It, it's just so like ominous. It feels like a Zelda uh, dungeon. From like Wind Waker, uh, what was the what was the name? Temple of the Gods or whatever it was that rose out of the sea after you linked the three. What you calls it? I forgot. I played Wind Waker last year. I forgot already. But I kind of wish they did something more with it. It's just so ominous. Sogaleo suddenly roared toward the sky. Oh shit. Another Pokemon appeared from somewhere. Bro? It's Cosmog! Is that the only time in the game we actually get to see Sogale and Lunala come face to face because they're version exclusives? Would you like to take Cosmog with you? Sure! He's gonna stay in my fucking bag. Bro, check out my nigga Cosmo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's poppin' with you, big dog? Of course, we have to give Cosmo a nickname. The only nickname we can give him is Nebby. That's the only nickname we can give him. People were upset we didn't name Sogaleo Nebby, but it's like Nebby is Cosmo. Nebby's not Sogaleo. Like, I understand that Cosmo evolves into Sogaleo, but it's, it, just, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Uh, so let's, can we, can we see Nebby's submarine? Oh shit. Nebby only has Splash. And it's Jolly Nature. Fuck yes, we got ourselves two fucking Solgaleos. I see now, my question is, I wonder if, if you level Nebby up in this alternate reality, can you get a Lunala in Pokemon Sun? Or is this just for you to get Cosmog to fill your uh, Pokedex? Because I think, 
uh, first off, all Cosmo gets is splash and teleport. That's it. It's all it gets. You're literally gonna have to slap an EXP share on this thing and level it up. And then it evolves into Cosmium. That's the one from the storyline where he just like sat and didn't move. Um, and then I, I think it's like level 40 it evolves into that. Then like 45 or something like that it evolves into the Soul Glare or Lunala. But my question is, if we stay in this alternate reality, will it evolve into Lunala here? I'm gonna say... I don't think it does that's just a wild theory because we're in Pokemon Sun and that would kind of defeat the purpose of version exclusives uh, and at the same time no can I saw a free set for this shit like I know Solar and Lunala are, are shiny locked but is Cosmog shiny locked is Cosmog shiny locked Nebby take your ass Nebby get back in the box uh -huh. so that's how you get Cosmog we went ahead and scooped him up and added him to the party. Cosmog and, of course, the eventual Cosme and Miam or whatever the fuck his name is. Let's see here. Where is, where is Cosmog? There we go. Yeah, see, they're considered legendary Pokemon. So I don't think I don't think it's going to be... I don't think you can soft reset for it because they're shiny locked. Its body is gaseous and frail. It slowly grows as it collects dust from the atmosphere. It's the Nebula and the Protostar. Motionless as if dead, its body is faintly warm to the touch. In the distant past, it was called the Cocoon of the Stars. Cosmium. Solgaleo. It is said to live in another world. Its intense light it radiates from the surface of its body can make the darkest of nights light up like midday. And then Lunala. It is said to be a female evolution of Cosmog. When its third eye activates, away it flies to another world. So... Solgaleo is the masculine male version, and Lunala is the female version. That's Game Freak saying that, not me. That's Game Freak saying that, not me. So don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Stop getting mad at me. Damn it. It's 2016. Don't assume we're fucking genders. Okay, so I don't know if you can just, like, stay in this world or not. I don't know if you can stay in here and not stress or worry about going back. You just live in an alternate reality forever and ever and ever. I wonder if it's a possibility. Oh, I wonder, wonder. Oh shit, I flew to the wrong place. God damn it. <laughs> I flew to the wrong fucking spot. Alright, Charizard. Back out the ball you go. Let's go. Fly me away. Fly me away, my boy. Is this crack still here? Why can't you just. Just fly me to the fucking temple? Why are you flying me all the way down here? Ain't nothing in that room no more. That my boy Kamo's gone to a better place. Got his ass waxed. I still think that's probably one of my favorite trials. Easily. That was just so intense when he jumped down. That nigga called a scissor. Fuck you gonna do with fairy types. So it's an ultra wormhole. I don't wanna go back. Will you return to the world from which you originally came? Sure. I feel like there has to be something, that something else you can do in this world. Does the crack stay open? Can you just traverse worlds back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? You can. You can. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to do some research to see if there's anything else we can do. Hot fucking damn, that's dope. That is a nice addition to the game. A little confusing to wrap your head around, but it's a nice addition to the game. But we went ahead and got our hands on Cosmog uh, and in turn Cosmium. Actually, before we end today's episode, there's one other thing I want to do. Only because I just remembered it. And it's a nice segue into the next episode. Which, you know what? I'll spoil for you guys. I'll spoil what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and slip and slide on over here. Back to Mele Mele Island. In the Hia Hia City. No, that's a... Uh, Haoli City. Yeah, yeah. That's on fucking Akala Island. But, a lot of you guys, actually there's one person in particular, I forget your username, but you have been reminding me time and time again, I keep forgetting, that since we got that small loan of a million dollars from, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, International Police, we can now slip and slide over here and achieve our greatest dreams. We meant to have this for... Where is it at? We meant to have this for our journey through Pony Island, but we didn't have the fucking money. We didn't have the fucking money. But now we do. We have a small loan of a million dollars. Pinstripe collar shirt. Oh, fuck. I should have bought that. 
damn it. Let me scoop this up. 100k, down the drain, just like that. Where my orange loafers at? Make sure you ain't got shit else for me. Bro, it costs so much money for the orange outfit. Bro. Leather backpack white. That's dope. Oh, wait. You can get a black one? Wait, wait, wait. Fuck. How do you spin this dude? Okay, there we go. Because I might pick up the, the black backpack. I don't know. The white looks really dope. But the orange backpack, that's what we were waiting on. It's fucking 378,000 fucking dollars, dude. Why is this backpack so fucking expensive? Oh, because it's leather. It's pure mill tank hide. Hold on, let me see. Do they not have... They don't have pants here. Where the fuck do you get the orange pants from then? That's just awkward. That's just awkward. See, my thing is, I, I like the white and the black and the orange as well. But it's like, I don't want to drop 378000 on this orange backpack, but then I'm like, oh, I kind of like the other ones. So this is what I'm going to do real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. I know this episode's all about Cosmog, but let me go ahead. Yo, your boy looks fucking fresh in this orange, my dude. Your boy looks fucking fresh in these fucking orange, my dude. It's just nice to see something new. I like the, the Alolan Muck outfit as well, but don't get me wrong. We got the pink ones, the Capri pants, the white Capri pants. We can go with the white and get a white backpack. Huh. That's just so odd. That's just so odd. Why are there no orange pants? Maybe they're in a different shop on a different island. Oh, wait, I forgot to change my goddamn hat, too. Back in the fitting room you go, boy. Change the fucking colors. Change this shit up. Change this shit up. We got a trilby hat. Oh, hell no. Hell no. But you know what? We'll keep it for right now. We'll keep it for right now because it matches the outfit. It matches the outfit. I don't know. I need to do a little bit of exploring and figure out where the the rest of the pieces of this outfit are at. Because I don't, I don't want to wear this hat. I'm wearing it right now just because it fucking matches, but I don't want to wear this hat. Alright, give me the fucking... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the white backpack. Because it'll match. Actually, you know what? We'll get both. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck the bullshit. It ain't like we buying shit as it is. Let's get both of them. 378k down the drain. Give me the orange one too. 378k down the fucking drain. Ain't like we was saving that money for Shaq shit anyways. Slap that shit on, my boy. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Just spend all that money. All that money, money. Yeah, yeah. At least now we got options. We got fucking options. And I do think the white backpack looks better, so we're gonna put the white backpack on. But I don't know, it's it's part of me that's like I, I wanted the orange backpack for the longest time. But now it's like we don't have orange pants. Like I want all orange. I gotta figure out where to get orange pants from. Watch everybody be like, oh, you can only get orange pants in fucking moon version, Nappy. That would be fucking stupid. But alright, at least we got a little bit of a different outfit going on. Please, last couple episodes, your boy is looking fresh fly. And, uh, very citrusy tonight. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go wrap today's episode here. In the next episode, there is a new character we need to meet in the Battle Buffet. I know we visited the Battle Buffet before, but now that we've become champion, a new character has unlocked. Uh -huh. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course you know can't nobody let's play a game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking the video. We out this bitch. Bye!